Hi church family, we're nearing an end of our 31 days of prayer and fasting. And today we're gonna to be praying for our friends and family that have experienced loss. Whether that loss happened yesterday or whether that loss happened five years ago, their loss is still legitimate and it still deserves our prayers. We've been reading through the book of Job together as a church and Job's friends get a pretty bad rep for how they respond to Job's loss. But I think what we miss is that at the beginning, they were there for him. They were a good support system for him. They did cry with him. But as time went on, they got a little less patient and a little less loving in how they responded to Job and his comprehension of that loss. My prayer today is that we, as a church body, would remain soft and loving to people that are experiencing loss, no matter the time constraint and no matter what the circumstance was. Let us cover them in prayer today so that the Holy Spirit, God's comforter, our healer, so that he could come and do a work that you and I can't. What we can do is we can call up those friends with, that are experiencing loss and ask them if we can pray for them. We can ask them right there on the spot, hey, can I pray with you? And if they say no, that's okay. We can pray with them on, their, on our own. But what we wanna make sure that we're doing is that we're continually checking up on them and continually being the hands and feet of Jesus to them. Romans 12, 15 says to rejoice with those that rejoice and to weep with those that weep. Let us do that today in our prayer and in our actions with others.